Hi guys, let me see. Happy Thursday. Where am I looking? The camera's here today. <clears throat> Hello, I was just reading some of your comments here starting up. There's so many of you. Some new ones, some old regulars. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I didn't sneeze. I saw you say sneeze. Do you know what it was? You know what it was? I was spraying my glasses. Um, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Love the setup for the picture. Thank you. Someone saying big pod. This is way more difficult than you're expecting. No, this one isn't too difficult. Don't you worry. It'll be a good one. I always say you guys like I don't paint landscapes very often either so we're learning together it's fine we're just gonna throw a bunch of paint around easy peasy uh shamu was an orca yes confirmed ashlyn that's so funny look at all y'all who else was here maya maya moon you've been doing all my youtube tutorials thank you i love that i love that which one was your favorite so far? Tell the class. Nice hair, Tasty Tulip, thank you. Also, hello, I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen you in here as well. Your paint doesn't dry fast, but let's do it. You're using oil, aren't you then? Or watercolor. If you're using, we'll see, we'll see. It's watercolor. You might just have, realistically, this picture down below, you guys, is for sure a watercolor painting. It's an originally a watercolor. Um, somebody sent it in for me to uh, try to do this one. I could not for the life of me find the original artist. So, like, that's why I wrote it in there. Like, it's not mine. I don't want you guys to think that this is my original art. We are going to um, try to reproduce it. In a way, it'll be still more a Tay version. It might be a little bit more colorful, but yeah, Big Pot's right. Their paint is the more original one. Um, Ash Jen bought non-dollar store brushes today. That, I'm excited for you too. It's going to be a good day. Maya's done the giraffe three times and it's her favorite. I love that. Have you done any different colors or is it, do you do it the same color every time? I just asked that because you guys know I'm a colorful gal. Um, okay, what time is it? Eight, oh, you did one of them pink? Ah, speaking to my heart. Let me just fix my light here. I feel like it's so bright. Oh, it's because of this one. Man, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, you love that mini movie you did for YouTube. The very first video on my YouTube? That's really funny. I, uh... Thank you. I made that a very long time ago, and it was before I was... Why is that like It's before... Thank you. It's before I was comfortable on camera, so whenever I watch it, I always feel like I'm, like, very nervous. And now I've been doing live stream paint nights for so long that it's just normal now. But before you get used to being on camera, it's awkward. I tried to, you're the same old Tay, I know, oh, thank you. Um, I tried to film, you guys, a uh, like a paint night. Hello, Nikki. I tried to film like a paint night or like a tutorial without doing it live, like just recording it like so that people could watch it later and I, I like couldn't do it. It was really hard. It was really hard. Oh, this is gonna bother me. Um, Okay, let's get it going. Of course, I gotta post an Instagram. She dips the brush in a casual manner, flexing her skills. You kill me. I'm pumped that you're alive too. Um, uh, the live ones are always fun. Hello, Monster Machine. We like the live ones. We like it. We have a good time, don't we, everybody? Okay, I'm posting on Instagram quick, and then we're going to do it. Maya can't make them because of dance. Oh, well, good to see you. For now. I know I should switch up the days every once in a while, but Thursday works the best 
for me here. So I'm glad you could make it. Okay, ready? Swipe up to join the paint night. You're kind of mad you don't have any subs, to be honest. Hey, it happens. It happens. Getting subscribers is a full-time job in itself. Just got to put in the time. Okay, are we almost ready? Swipe up to paint an orca. Oh, hey, it's not to paint an orca. And then let's do it. Usually I do this before we go live, but you know, unorganized Tay. It's my middle name. Orca. Whee! Done. Beauty. Um, you see that I draw. Yes, I actually was a drawer before I was a painter. And Cinderella's paint arms hurt and got her artist tattoo finished today. Do you guys remember? Some of you, we uh, she shared her tattoo with us. Remember that beautiful like painter girl? She finished it today. Yeah, send it in again. I will start the painting, but send it in and we will share with everybody. I would love to see. I'll share with it uh, in the middle. Paint down, maybe that might help instead of up. I don't know. You also live in Alberta and you're sad that they shut everything down again. I know that. So dance must have been shut down for you. Ringette shut down for me too. Um, we are lucky that we get a little bit more... Uh, like that our businesses don't close. Like our restaurants would die if we had to close down again for, for a long time. But we won't talk about COVID anymore, you guys, right? We forget about it here in the studio. We're just painting. Stress-free, right? Painting's fun. We're going to have a good time. Big Pot has a semi-professional setup. I love it. We are going to, like I said, paint it a little bit differently than what we see below. Big pot with watercolor, that means you don't have white. So you kind of have to acknowledge where the white is from the beginning and not paint there. Because for us acrylic painters, we're gonna be painting a bunch of layers and then the white goes on top of it. If you have, if you have white acrylic paint at home, you can paint white acrylic on top. It's a challenge, I like a challenge, see, beautiful. Basically, when you squint at our picture down below, even everybody, if you took a good squint at our photo, you can see where the darkest is and where the lightest is. That's always really important while we're painting to acknowledge all the values throughout the whole thing. Where's the darker spots? Where's the lighter? Where you want people to look? And obviously, in this orca painting, we want to look at those beautiful orcas at the bottom, right? Maya Moon painted the longboard. Good. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're here. I know who you are now. I never know usernames, you guys. Okay, so what is different about today's is we're not starting with a drawing with a thin uh, paintbrush with a pencil. We're just going to start throwing colors down right away. Okay? I'm about to free Willy. Yes, Mustard Tiger. Perfect timing. And Big Pot, you can do this too, because we're going to put a very light layer across the whole bottom or the whole back, and you can do it too, because it's going to be very light. If you have orange, take out your orange. If you don't, take out your red and yellow to make orange. I don't like to take up... Also, hi, Kenzie. <laughs> My brain just went... Whew. Uh, I don't like to take out lots of paint at a time. I don't like to waste it. So I like to take off little tiny drops of the colors that we are using at the moment. Since we're using acrylic, it dries fast. It's not like oil. So if you put it on your palette, um, like colors that we're going to use way down the line later, they might dry up and be wasted by the time. I can't open this paint. <sighs> by the time... Um, by the time you get to them, they might be dried up and wasted, and that's just, you don't want that. So only take out little bits at a time of the colors we need in the moment. So we are taking out red and yellow, or if you have orange, take out orange and take out a touch of white, okay? 
Hello, mon chéri. Oh, I was going to change my pants. Let's just get ready. Famous last words. I'm going to get paint all over these non-paint pants, but that's fine. Okay. And I'm taking out a touch of white as well. Remember, you can always add more paint, but you can't put it back into the tube. Did I change my watch? I might have changed the band since I've been on here, but I change them around every once in a while. Oh, you mean did I change it to not get paint on it? No, I didn't. Thanks for remembering that. Look at me. Just just like Cinderella said, all paints are paint pants. Just story of my life. All right, everybody. Are we ready? We're going to start with a big brush. I'm going to use a square one, but hey, not everyone likes a square one. You can use a pointed one. You can use these like domey ones if you want. You can play around with like a big one. I don't know, whatever you want. Rounded and squared, right? I don't know what you have at home. Not a big deal. Just your biggest brush. And we are going to start with the same old chocolate milky consistency of paint that I always talk about. So did I start my time lapse? Oh my God, you guys are the best. <laughs> I did it, but I didn't even set it up today. Oh, I, thanks for remembering all that. Um, just because this isn't my painting and just because I couldn't find out the real artist, I just feel wrong like promoting it like it's my own, if that makes sense. If I knew the artist, I could tag their name, like I'd feel a lot better. But uh, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Okay, well, she's so nice, I hate it. It's my good old Canadian nature. Take a breath, Taylor, I'm going all over the place. Let's start with a nice big wash all over the background. See how the sky down here is like orangey yellow? You know? We are actually going to put that throughout the whole piece. We're making it happen. So we're going to take a little touch of red. Can you see my palette? Yep. We're going to take more yellow than red because red's more powerful than yellow. And we want to make an orangey concoction. Again, if you already have orange, feel free to use it. I just, in case you don't have all the colors, you can make it out of red and yellow. <laughs> I know, that's why I said, because it's my Canadian nature, because I know that's the joke. Okay, and this chocolate milky consistency that I always talk about is by bringing, like, see how I'm just bringing my brush into the water and I'm, like, scooping it, doop, scooping it out onto my palette and just kind of mixing my brush around to make, like, a really watery chocolate milky consistency. That's just the best way for me. Oh, my God, I already got paint on me. The best way for me to describe it, <laughs> okay? And we're going to have some fun. Whether your canvas is standing up or flat on the ground, we're going to start at the top left corner because as you can see down here, that's where it's the darkest. And we're literally just going to swap around. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I'm a messy painter by trade and by choice. So I don't like to paint all the way to the edges, okay? I like to, oh, look, there's a little bit of red on my brush, but what can you do? Add some water to your brush and just pull it around. It might drip a little bit. That's okay. Hello, Dresden. Hope all is well. All's good over here. Hope all is well with you. With everybody, especially with you, Dresden. Good to see you back. And I am just swiping throughout the whole page and you can literally go right into your like see I'm going right into my water and going right back onto the thing with water on my brush whoop, whoop, whoop. and I'm just pulling it Kenzie's swiping too but on men <laughs> just tinder swipe swiping or what 
Um, big pot, you're doing watercolor. I would add lots of water in the bottom half so that it is more like lighter colored in the bottom. Oh God, I just poured a bunch of yellow directly into my white, just what you want. And you can have fun with this, you guys, like as it's wet, When it is wet, you can dip your brush like a little bit in pure yellow and you can bring that through a bit if you want to. A lot of people, if you're on my Instagram, a lot of people voted. I like put up four pictures of orcas and a lot of people voted for um, this really pink and purpley beautiful one. And... Uh, you can make you can make this one that too. Like instead of using yellow, you can use pink in the background. Um, if you want spots to be more darker, go in with like a little bit of red and water on your brush. This is really just like a carefree slosh and paint around process. Like look, I put a little bit of red on my wet brush and pulled it through. El pollo loco. I am. I'm self-proclaimed Barb Ross. Some called me Bay Ross. I'll take it. Barb, Bay, Bob, reincarnated. Just kidding. I was gonna say 2.0, but I that's I can't say 2.0 because I'm not I'm not saying that I'm better than Bob. I've learned a lot from the man. Okay. How are we doing, guys? This is kind of like different than what we usually do. Are we having fun with it at home? Is it confusing? I feel like I didn't finish my thought on me being a messy painter. This is me just painting up to the edge but not touching it. Some people might want to paint smooth right to the edge. That's cool. I ain't judging. All right? You can use any color you want. I'm just chatting to myself today okay i have a microphone set up but i feel like it's not that's fine that's fine i'm being picky whoop, whoop, whoop. water is your friend you guys if things isn't aren't pulling well like let's see if i can show an example like do you see where's my camera here how this looks like sandpapery how the paint went on kind of sandpapery onto the canvas um that just means there's not lots of water on your brush it's not a bad thing it's just dry brushing it's a technique that some people use but if that's happening and you don't want it to add some more water water is your friend okay Okay, okay, okay. I just realized that I just have a little red swipey right there, but whatever. It's a cloud. See, it's more saturated at the top. Yeah. Since I'm not getting the A, okay. I'm assuming. Since I'm hearing nothing, I'm assuming y'all are good. Again, the music is just kind of like porn starry I apologize okay ooh I'm close to the other camera today all righty then how's that if we look at our picture down below oh my hands are just like it doesn't make sense when I point down here Look in my cam look at my face when I point down. Beep. This is basically the base of the painting we have coming along. Am I right? Am I right? See how the paint is like it went on super flat. Like it, there's not chunks of paint. It's not thick. Just water down. Light washes. You can go back in as many times as you want. Less is usually more, though. I learned that the hard way. Okay, get that yellow out of there. 
It is pretty bow chicka wow wow, isn't it? Let's just. I always just resort back to the same playlist. Yours is redder, wetter, and messier. Hey, that's. Messier isn't a problem. That's very fine. Yours is watercolor, so it should be waterier. We're just going to stay with that. And realistically, we do have to wait a little bit, just a little bit, um, before we paint on top. It has to be dry. But again, like I took out way too much paint, probably. See, I'm conscious of the paint wasting process and I do it still. But we don't really need these colors too much anymore. You're over here blowing on your orange canvas like hot soup. <laughs> blow dryers work too, but if it's super wet, a blow dryer will change the look of it. You'd use a blow dryer, but it's 10 a.m. Where are you? You're on the other side of the world? So it's 8.30 for us. Well, 8.20. Okay. That light is so bright, I don't know where to go. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Well, great. For, thanks for joining us. I love it. Um, so I'm assuming we're probably going to be waiting a little bit to, for things to dry. I'll just get the other color out. I'm going to be using blue and black. <gasps> I know. Black, as we I always say, it's a very strong pigment. Great pigment. But what blue dough? Cinderella, sorry. Thalo, right? Not phthalo, phthalo. Phthalo blue, green shade. <laughs> phthalo. <laughs> um, loved my hippo painting, thank you. The hippo painting she's talking about, I just posted on my Instagram this morning, you guys. It's one of the cutest paintings I've painted in a long time. I have it right here. Black is a great pigment, you guys, but it is strong. You'll need, like, the tiny, like, not much at all. You guys. Oh. Look at her. Her name's Fiona. I can't, oh, I made some glitter bubbles in there, but you can't see it. Ah. Oh. I love her. I just admired her for a while there, last night, or this morning. Last night for me. Anyway, sorry, distractions today. Woo, it's like 8.30 and I've forgotten how to teach you. Um, we are using blue and black. And like I said, don't worry about the black. Don't take out too much of it. It is very powerful and it'll take over any color you put in there. That's probably too much, but that's fine. Looks more like a Beatrice. You know what? I didn't name the girl, though. It's her actual name's Fiona. So I just saw, like, a super cute... Um... Also, thank you, Tasty Tulip. What am I thinking here? I love those fireworks. Um... I just saw this cute picture of a little hippo on... Um... A little hippo on Pinterest. Just looking out the window like that. And I was like, I have to paint it. And then when I posted it, someone's like, that looks like Fiona. And I was like, what? And I Googled it, and it's she's actually Fiona from the Cincinnati Zoo. So cute. It does have to dry. Mine is dry, but I can wait a little bit if you guys need. Why was her birth a big deal? People told me to Google her videos. Oh my gosh, today, you guys, my arm is ginormous. Usually it's like a little arm, but now it's like a big. Oh, I'll have to, I can't do it. Okay, Kenzie also recommends everybody. We have to Google what you call um, Fiona, the baby hippo videos. 
YouTube them. She was a premature hippo baby. Oh my God, I'm so happy that this painting has brought me to this knowledge. <laughs> I just thought she was so cute. Just looking. <laughs> I love it. She always had a cute chubby face, frick yeah. Okay, you guys, how is it like super, our page is super wet. Are we waiting for a little bit? This light is bright and blinding me. And the first of the species to be scanned in the womb using ultrasound. The first time I hit a had been milk and the milk analyzed. Look at, guys, we always learn something new on paint nights here. Actually, just on my YouTube video, somebody just responded. I, won, I think it was the jellyfish paint night. I think we were talking about like peeing on a jellyfish sting or something. I feel like I probably said that you should pee on a jellyfish sting or something. Just blindly false knowledging people because I learned it on Friends. And then somebody commented on the YouTube video like just recently because that video was from a long time ago. Being like, use vinegar on a jellyfish sting. Don't pee on it. So, my apologies to anyone if you have peed on a jellyfish because I said so. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that was you? Okay, thank you. And I responded, I was like, thank you for fact checking the stream. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. I know we have to wait for things to dry. Don't worry. Sometimes it's good for me to do it first and you wash and then do it after. No stress, okay? So this is where it's going to get a little bit weird because we're not doing watercolor. So with the watercolors, a shout out to Big Pot. Um, you do a, like a big wash of this backed like trees that we're about to be drawing here. And by wash, I just mean like one like flat layer of the black and you let that dry and then you do another layer at the top part a little bit so it gets darker and a little bit on the top and you keep doing layers to get that dark to light gradient and we don't have to do that because we can paint that if we want you know what i'm saying so it's going to be a little bit different than what big pot's going to be doing <laughs> but i'll teach you as you go <laughs> Hey, I always love when other people do different mediums. Usually, it's funny, I kind of, it's my fault. Not my fault. It's the unfortunate um, scenario that it's like a landscape like this. Like, if it was something else, the watercolor wouldn't be that much different. So, what Big Pot is going to be doing is you are going to be the same shape that we are about to be drawing here. You're just going to be painting it all one solid color with lots of water so it's like nice and translucent. And then you're going to let it dry. And then once it's dry, you're going to do that again, but just with like a little bit thicker of the, the mountains. So like the topper, see how it gets darker as it gets to the top? And then you let that dry. And then you do another little bit skinnier layer on the top. That's the watercolor. That's what's beautiful about watercolor is it's just like layering. You have to be like nice and patient, but you can get really nice layering. No worries. Blow dry that baby. No, you can't fan it. We'll make it happen. We'll get you some nice orcas in there. Okay, dokay. Maya, watercolor is so pretty, but you're so bad at it. See, I am the same. It's hard. It's just... My brain can't go slow. I have to be going like quick. So like I can't stop and slow and wait for watercolor. That's my problem. You spilled your paint, your tissues and your water. <laughs> You're going to have a beautiful abstract pee. It's all about the process. Okay. Trust the process. <laughs> I love that. Uh. All right, everyone, if you're ready or not, I'm going to start the next one. Watch if your paint is not dry. So I'm going to take a big chunk of blue and the tiniest little touch of black. And we are going to be getting a black <laughs> with a touch of blue. Because we don't want it to be only black. We want it to have a nice little bit of color in there. And you can make a lot of it because we're going to be using it for lots of the 
rest of the painting. Sorry, I feel like I'm just a mess today. <laughs> okay, I'm just blending that in a little bit just to get a little more water down. Not as much water as we were using before. But we're not going to do too much as different as what I was just explaining with watercolor. The beauty for us is that we can just add some white to lighten it up. We don't have to do the layering to lighten it up. So I'm using the same brush. Oops, where's the camera? I'm using the same brush as I used before, um, but you can use whatever you wish. And we're going to start by just figuring out where you want to put those like mountainous trees. You're still waiting on the Cthulhu painting. I did write Cthulhu on the list, don't you worry. Okay. So I am just going to come around here and decide where I want to put that back mountain. And now with some water on my brush, see how it's still a little more blue? It's pretty blue. Maybe I can add a touch more black in there. With a little bit more water on my brush, I am going to start. See how I'm brushing up to down? You can use a skinny brush, maybe, if that's better. Um, whatever you prefer. I would just suggest to do a swipe or two of the color. It might drip if you want it to drip. That's cool. But you do a big swipe across. Oh, there's a drip. And then we're just swiping up and down. You can make some bigger than others. We're just trying to make what appears to be trees. Again, you guys, when I do new things, tell me if it's stressful. <laughs> tell me if it's stressful or if it's a bad way to, um, if I'm describing it bad. So what is good for you, Big Pot? You can basically be doing what we're doing right now as well because this is the darker top half. But we are going to... You can paint, basically, if you look at the picture below, we're going to be painting... Look, I'll pick a horizon line for you guys. Let's pick right here is where the water's going to be. That's where the waters and the trees match, Okay. So the deeper down we get, the more water you can add to your brush and it kind of lightens out. See how just with more water I've pulled that line down. And it's lighter. It went from dark to light just by adding more water. And I'm still just brush, brush, brushing. Um, Maya was saying they're going to a fan brush which looks like this. Where's my fan brush? Now we're listening to like witches music. Where is the fan brush? Here it is. This is a fan brush. Bob Ross teaches you how to make clouds and trees with these. So you can do that either pointing up this way or same as this way. But for people doing acrylic like me, see how they're like really random? And like look like, oops, you can make one really big by accident, but guess what? From far away, it doesn't even matter and nobody will notice. Um, the beauty about acrylic is that we have the power, the power, I don't know if that's the right word. We have the ability to paint over things opaquely to cover a mistake that you don't like. It's a little bit harder with watercolor, which kind of makes it cool because you can paint very like layered and textured and stuff. But I just say that because I know a lot of people get stressed that they're going to lay down the wrong line or something's not blending right or something doesn't look right or they mess something up. And with acrylic, it's literally, it's so hard, you guys, to mess something up. And see, this looks a little bit darker. It's going to dry a little bit lighter. 
when there's this much water in it. But a little bit of inconsistencies in value is like kind of nice, right? <clears throat> this playlist is the worst. Let's see. If you listen to some, oh, that's winter. Your background is definitely unique. Hey, they're all going to be unique. That's the best part, Big Pot. Right? And you can go into with like a little, add like a little bit more black on your brush or a little bit more blue. And you can darken up some little spots if you want to add, oops, that's a lot of water. If you want to add some more value into the trees, again, I'm just painting up and down. Like my brush is going like up, down, up, down. Well, I'm painting these little tree things, tree things. They're base, they're trees. <laughs> Guys, sorry. We have to go back to just my regular oil playlist. Okay, how's this looking? Right? And again, see, look, there's like not, it's not all smooth. It's not all flat throughout. It's not one solid color. You can see some of the yellow and orange through the background. That's cool. And I'm just going to make it even crazier just because that's fun. All right. You made your blue too dark. That, no, mine's a little bit lighter than I was anticipating. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. You can either leave it cause it, if, it's, if it doesn't bother you too much. Or wait for it to dry. And make the same color, but add a little touch of white into it and kind of do the same process right over top. Like it's kind of like a white wash over top of it. Oops, I probably should have came like right up at least to the end there. So how do you make the bottom lighter? So see, that's the problem where we have with, no, it's okay that you're behind. You're literally using a different medium. Yours are all way darker here. I'll just make mine darker. That's fine. That is okay if yours are all darker. You guys, I'm telling you, black, powerful pigment, am I right? Um, I can just go in, like, why don't I just add some black in here so that it looks more like your guys's. Right? Let's just put that in there. Uh, oh God, oh God. That's too much black on my brush. Do you guys mind, does somebody wanna send me a picture of one of yours just so I can uh, um, we, okay, sorry. I'm, lo I'm looking at a million things. Okay, if somebody doesn't mind sending me a picture so I can just see, like, what yours looks like and then I can understand, um, what I need to tell y'all. And then, Big Pot, how do you make it lighter? So that's the thing with watercolor is it's very difficult to, do you have a white? Did you get a white watercolor? Like, do you have a white watercolor? <laughs> so I just said the same thing, like, six times. If you have, no, you're out. Okay, okay, okay. That makes it a little more difficult. So sometimes, depending on your paper or canvas or whatever. Okay, sweet. I will check. Um, water. Water can pull away 
pigment so like let me show an example down here I'm just trying to make this darker so that I match up with you guys um, like just for test purposes with a paintbrush that has no sorry I keep looking at this camera a paintbrush that has no paint on it just water depending on what you are painting on canvas is best um, you can usually like rub away like see how I'm going on to this dark spot with just water and I'm lightening up this like little spot do you see that you're using traditional canvas okay perfect see how I'm wiping with just a, wa a wet brush and then like wiping off whatever I'm pulling putting more water on my brush and going back into that spot you can lighten stuff up by just water and your brush and then even with like your wet rag like you can lighten it up a little bit. That might help you. For people saying that theirs looks like grass, realistically, so does mine. Until we get like a foreground view, like once we get those orcas in there, it will, pe your people's eyes will just be like, oh, obviously those are trees back there. Do you know what I mean? And when everyone's talking about DMs, it's not Twitter, it's Instagram. I don't have a Twitter. Well, I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I can show it on here. Okay, uh, I got one. It's Mine's just a little bit more watery than yours, but the dark. Where's my Instagram? My eyes can't see. Okay. Like, gr it's great like that color works great oh gosh where's oh my gosh my computer's just freaking out like this too it's darker but like not a problem it like looks better that yours is like it probably looks better that yours is darker who are we kidding um if anybody's worrying about like this not being light enough and you're using acrylic like we can mix a little bit of white in there and just pull a little bit of white up in the opposite direction that we're just doing dark down but all the ones that you guys have sent here oh while i've got you you guys the tattoo beautiful Ooh, she's pretty colored nice 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 okay sorry um good that's good that's good i love the color when you add too much water it gets gross okay that's is if that's happening to some people when you add too much water and your paint quality just like can't handle it ditch the watery technique that's very okay use the same amount of water that we're usually doing and we're just gonna have to sneak some whites in there and that's fine okay all those ones that were just sent in to me, I'm not worried about any of them. They all look great. Um, this, I, I have to remember that the watery technique is not, it's something that you have to get used to. That's me just being a jerk. Um, they all look great. They all look great. We've got some trees down. We've got them up to a horizon line. Now let's get this second layer of trees going. And that's just by adding a little bit more dark into that blue. Because we do want them to be a tiny touch darker. Not too much darker, but a tiny touch darker. And don't worry, you guys, if once we start painting this, if our second layer of trees starts blending into the back because your back was too dark, don't panic right away. We can solve that. Just let me know if that happens, okay? But we are going to, remember how this rough line that I just drew is the horizon line or where the water meets the trees? We're going to come like a smidgen down from that. And we'll do another line across. And on this side, same thing, maybe a tiny bit lower. Okay. And now this new line of trees, you can start it literally wherever you want. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to look exactly the same as mine. If you want to try to use the water down, go for it. If not, it's totally okay. We can just start mixing in some whites in there. But see now how we're just going to go right over top. 
if you want to do just a swipe whoop, just like we did last time and swipe swipe swipey all the way on down to that line that new line that we made and see how now that this darker one is right in front it appears like closer to us already right when you're drawing or coloring in pictures or playing with the value it's always important to worry about are your darks close to you or are your darks farther away from you so that people's eyes can understand distance so the orcas are going to be the most solid dark shape so and they're the closest so then our eyes will understand like oh the lighter it gets backwards the more in um sorry i just got blanked out uh the more depth it adds into there i just got <laughs> distracted by oh my god i turned for a second how <laughs> First of all, thanks for making Instagram to join the conversation, just for me. Secondly, we just did another tree just right in front. Why is my entire thing so streaky? Let me see. I don't really know why. Did you send me a picture? Yeah, Ali, yours is good too. I see the water, it makes it a little weird, but it's not terrible. That's kind of what mine looks like too. Um, it gets that like foggy, lighter color. Yeah, like I know you said yours looks like grass. I won't say like, but it does like, not worried. Once we're doing the second layer, it'll short, it will like chop up those lines a little bit and, uh, and it'll look just great. I'm stressed. You guys, are you guys stressed? For, I'm, I'm stressed because I feel like you're stressed. <laughs> Send it. Okay. I'll check. And where's my phone? Yours isn't streaky. I don't look at yours and think it's streaky. I think it looks great. I do see in with a bunch, a couple people are sending them in. I think the pretty. You're talking about this wonderful painting? <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited for everyone at home too. This painting's not mine though. I always have to say, I always feel bad. No artist has got mad at me yet, but I don't want them to. Once I find out who that artist is, I'll share it. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of people. Their back trees are pretty dark, so these ones are kind of blending into those trees. And like I was saying before, we just are going to add a little bit of white. That's the solution. White solves the day. White and water, because water will make our paints kind of translucent -y. But if we just add in here some pools of light, see there's just a little bit. Oh, it just... I don't understand why. On, here, on the camera to you, it literally looks like it's like blue. And it's not on mine at all. So that's really odd. That's really weird. I don't really know what to do about that. This That's not what it looks like on my screen. Oh, I'm sad that you're giving up. That's okay if you fall behind. You can still make something happen. You're supposed to to trust the process. I didn't give any of the rules today, you guys. Wow, I'm just unorthodox today. See how just swiping a little bit of white in the background here is just kind of bumping up that a bit for some of you whose originally your trees are a little dark. That's okay. Sometimes I just can't anticipate for how your paint's gonna react. 
and I lead you astray a little bit. Landscape painting is the Wild West, no rules. I told you guys from the beginning, landscape's hard for me, okay? <laughs> We're doing it together! Okay, and my, my Twitter is Tay 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 Ski. Three Tays. I think they are open. Tay 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 Ski, I think. Let me check. I've tried to message the Tay Tay Ski girl if I could have it. Her Instagram handle. Yeah, I am Tay 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 Ski. Um, let me check. It is open. Oh, just kidding. Now it's open. <laughs> okay. So how are we feeling about that little white layer at the bottom there? Yeah, I got Tay Ski on all the platforms except for on Twitter. Yeah, you guys, I'm just tweaking. I'm just touching this in case you guys need this help. I no worries. I'm not moving ahead yet. I'm uh, compensating to help if you guys needed to lighten up this background. And you know what? You could do the same like gra like some of you saying grassy. You can do the same again. Some more little strokies. If we want to add some depth in there. Depth. Another one of my favorite words. Giving me a... Oh, thanks for the prop, Dresden. Sorry about missing the last couple. Don't worry about it. You've been that many. Okay, you sent me on Twitter. Okay, okay, okay. I will check that. Oops. Um... People saying that their trees look like grass. It is probably because your little lines that we're doing are just long. Like, see if I do like long lines like this, that looks a little bit grassy. But if we kind of shorten them out a little bit, it kind of keeps away from the tree. I mean, grass. <laughs> what am I saying? I will check your Twitter. Just having fun brushing paint around. Oops. Message request. How do I see it? It won't let me see it. Oh, just kidding. Oh, yours is coming along great too. I don't have Twitter on my uh, computer, so I can't show you guys. No, you shouldn't give up. Yours is just gonna be a little bit darker, like a little bit moodier. I can't show, it. Does it's a little hard on my screen. I was truthfully expecting a disaster from how you were explaining it. And it looks great. Like you got the drips in there. It looks great. You're gonna just, all you gotta do is pop a little orca in there and it's gonna be good to go. Okay, you guys, how is it going? I feel like I'm just behind. But if you guys are still going, I'm not then, right? Oops. I'm not doing anything. You're totally behind. What, like, one second. I'm, what I'm doing right now is not like a necessity. I'm literally just picking around, just adding more layers, but it's the same process that we've been doing the whole time. Just a little bit watered down instead with a little bit more water so that we're lightening up that background. And I'm just doing it in a bunch of layers. Sporadic. It's, um sporadic it's nature so it's okay if it's not like symmetrical or aligned or parallel or whatever all those words words
So how do you do trees? Okay, so you don't have white. That's hard. Not having white is difficult. I would suggest you started over here already. You started doing some trees on yours. I would bring that same all the way across for sure. And then you're kind of just going to have to be a lot more like what I would suggest for you with some of the next layers, other than the trees you're about to do. The next layers moving forward, this is, goes out for anybody using watercolor ever. Um, more water than paint. Like you want it to be a really light, translucent layer will help. So then you can't, like, because you can't erase, right? So you can always add darker, but it's hard to take away. So when you're going to be doing more trees, you're just going to be doing more layers of them just to overlap them a little bit more on the top. Do you guys see how some of like want to see it close up? The colors are just like fully changing. They're like, oh, it got a little crazy over here. That's fine. Your inner saboteur is taking over. See, guys, I got to stop doing um, landscapes because it, I feel like nobody ever has a good time. <laughs> like, what is the problem are you thinking with yours? Where did I lead you astray? Like, sometimes less is more, you guys. We have to remember that the orcas are our main focal point. This stuff is just background. Like when people look at it, they're gonna be like, look at the orcas. And then like this blurry, fuzzy background doesn't matter. Little details that you're looking at, your viewers aren't gonna see. Yeah, less is more. Less is more, because you can overwork the crap out of it. I promise you. I have many a times before. <laughs> yeah. Learning less is more takes time and it takes ruining things. But again, remember it doesn't, you can't ruin it. It just means you have to like paint some white over and start over again on some spots. But we're fine, you guys. We're making a beautiful trees in the background. You think you got a lot not looking as grassy? Beautiful. That's that's a win. I really think it's just because your trees look long. I think that's what made you think that they look like grass is just the length of them. Um, I will check your photos in a second. But remember, guys, I'm not doing anything new. I just went into my blue and black. I added some water, and I'm just going over top that first front layer that we've just made earlier before we came back to lighten up the background in case you needed that. Okay. And you can make some taller trees if you want. But again, we kind of want them to be darker at the top and gets lighter as it goes down. And you achieve that by just not painting lower. So we painted the full thing the first half. Now it dried and we went back over and now I'm just painting the top two thirds. What's my opinion on hunting? Uh, I don't really like I have no for again like I personally wouldn't enjoy hunting but I don't, I see why people hunt and I'm not against it. Um to an extent as long as it's like you're using it. Um but uh yeah. I don't think about hunting often. But um, we can, don't be stressed out if you feel like I'm going ahead and you're not at this part yet, because I'm not doing anything new. Nothing too different. You're going hunting tomorrow morning, well enjoy. I couldn't, ha I would just, 
to be quiet for that long. I couldn't do it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're doing exactly the same thing on this side, right? We made a swipey of our blacky blue, and then we're just kind of bringing up some little spiky trees. Oops. Do, 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 do. And remember, let's not make them too long because maybe they'll turn grassy is what we're finding out. Remember, you guys, I always... <laughs> I always figure out how to paint them while I sit, like, in the five-minute start time thing that you guys are <laughs> watching. I'm figuring out how to paint it, so I apologize <laughs> if I send us astray today. And... Tree, 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 tree. Okay. Like this line probably should be straight, but you know, we're just dealing with that. Oh, you sent a picture that I said I'd look at and I didn't. Oops. Oh, yes. Less grassy, for sure. Seeing how you put that white in the middle and it makes that front and the front, like these in the foreground, pop out so much more. But remember, you guys, these orcas, they are the what you call it, the stars of the show. That's what everybody cares about. So the background stuff should be light and fluffy. You feel like your brush is too big. Well, I would suggest it's like easier to use a big brush to do like your initial swipe and then get, if you want like a thinner brush or something, you can like pull up from that line like this. Do, 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 do. It would help just with the big brush to do your initial swipe. And again, some people's canvases might be different sizes. <sighs> Sometimes the size of paintbrush that I'm using isn't going to work for you guys, and that's totally okay. And like some people don't like using these square brushes, and I just like love using these square brushes. So realistically, you can achieve most things with most brushes. But how's it hanging, everyone? Justin, hello. Yeah, my old profile picture was just too serious and people coming to my page would have no idea anything. <laughs> so I changed it to make it a little more me. Am I right? Mm-hmm. We do. We do. I need to do one of the high colors, uh, yeah, a smiley one. Smiley. Okay, with this technique, you guys, you can put as many layers of these trees. <sighs> Just started, can't stop yawning. Um, like, we can put, like, another little batch of trees right here if you want. I don't know. You don't have to. You change brushes and you like it so much more. Okay, guys, here's proof in the pudding. Maybe you are using a brush that isn't good and it just isn't working for you. Maybe the brush I'm using just isn't working. Try something out. Try a different one out, just like Maya did. No yawning is contagious. I know, Rod. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was one stream that I literally had to stop it early because I couldn't stop yawning and then everyone in the audience was yawning and we just decided to call it a day it was just we were all making ourselves too sleepy just kidding I was making everyone too sleepy just so boring <laughs> okay looking amazing so far thanks Nikki I feel like I'm teaching it terribly so <laughs> you can let me know when you do the video <laughs> Mm 
It looks so cool. Thanks, Justin. And Big Pot's back. Guess who's back in the house? That's okay. You're using a different medium, so it's gonna be different anyway. I won't yawn on the screen. <laughs> Just crying, yawning over there. <laughs> um, yours is watercolor anyway. It was gonna be a, you. You are facing challenges before you even began. I'm just kind of picking away a little bit while I, bef until I get the go ahead from y'all to start doing um, the water. Like, oh, here's a little island. That's cool. That's cool. Why not? One right here, too. Do, 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 do. And see, whenever you're making something closer in, like, closer in space to us. You're going to bring it a little bit further down from the horizon line you've already built, and it's going to be a little bit darker, right? Do, 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 do. How's that? That works too, that works too. How's that? Okay. How did I get into art? It was literally just some, like, I just, uh, ever since I was young, 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 I just picked up, like, drawing and doodling and sketching and whatever. And I was just lucky that my parents just gave me the tools. They didn't, they're not artists themselves, but they were just like, go ahead, little artist freak. <laughs> and I just did it my whole life. And I did not expect, like, I didn't, I wasn't thinking I was going to be an artist as a job. I just drew, I was good at drawing and painting. And then I started, like, people would ask for a painting and I'd paint one and I'd, they'd buy, like, they'd pay me to paint them a painting. And then uh, I thought I was going to be a dental, I've told this story so many times, so I'm sure so many people um, that are here have already heard it a million times. But when I graduated high school, I thought I was going to be a dental hygienist but then I failed chemistry 30. <laughs> and I was like, no, I ain't doing that anymore. And one of my friends was in art school and she was like, come to art school, it's fun. And I thought I was gonna be like an advertiser, like making like billboards, like not my, I have no, none of those skills at all, but that's what I went. You who does that exactly. <laughs> But not you who does that, like, amazing who can do that. <laughs> I just can't do it. It's, like, not a skills. It's not a set of skills that I have in my wheelhouse. And in my first year of art college, an illustrator um, did, like, a class talk for us. And I was like, oh, my God, that's what I want to do. And then here we are. 10 years later, basically, because that was like, or like, whatever, seven years later, I guess. And I'm a full time artist. Who'd have thunk it? You're glad I did, Svengali. Thank you. Also, hello, Svengali. You're the best. Uh, you started painting when you were nine, and you're now 13. You're only 13? You're amazing at what you can paint. Like that longboard's great. Good on you. Don't stop painting. Don't stop painting. Okay, you guys, I was just, look, as I was talking, I just, I drew some little bubbly lines. They're rocks. <laughs> I don't know. You can fully Bob Ross it and be like, oh, maybe there's a happy little rock right there. Boulder? I don't know. <laughs> Your trees look alien and you like it. See? That's what I mean. Don't give up the painting. Make something of it, okay? That's a nice boulder. <laughs> that log had a baby. <laughs> That's what I mean. uh, anyway. Also, hi Justin, miss you. How's it going? Okay, you guys. Am I teaching you terribly or are we okay? <laughs> are we ready to move on to the next step?
It's funny because this painting is like, realistically, if they're real color theory, real painters, unlike myself, they probably just did that with like three colors, like blue, red, and yellow, probably. That looks like it. Okay. You'll be all right. Beautiful. It's time to paint some water. And then we're going to pop that orca. <laughs> right when I said pop that, I was thinking of obviously the lyrics to a song. But I can imagine you guys know what I'm talking about. Right in this little garage is what I was going to say. Um, and then we'll pop those little orcas right in there. Okay. So what's happening now is not that, let me change your water, no problem. We can all right now, water change if you wish. We are going to basically use the same concoction that we were just using before, but we want way more blue, hardly any black, a tiny touch, but hardly any black, and more water, I mean white. Sorry guys, thanks for sticking with me today. <laughs> <laughs> we want the same bluey black color that we were making before, but we want it to have more water in it. And again, be completely up to you with your size of canvas and preference and etc. I'm going to be using like a pointier brush. Ping! Uh... I'm going out to the mountains tomorrow for a couple days. So after this, I gotta knock out a couple paintings before I go. Rainbow animals and skeletons is what I'm painting today. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, we're ready. Got the A okay. All right, so we're getting that blue that we were using. I kind of need some more. Don't be shy, but some more. Um, yes, oh, right, you were gone. Yes, a small pointed brush. I just need a little, oh, no. I just stabbed my painting. Rub that out of there. That's fine. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Whew. Now, we are getting blue. With a tiny touch of black, and I mean a tiny. And a good chunk of white so we don't want it to be like a nice baby blue like we do want it to be this like grayed out color but just with more white added to it i'll show you guys it once i make it oh my gosh Okay. It's probably just going to look bright blue. It does look bright blue to you. It's not. <laughs> I don't know how to color correct that camera. So we want it to be a gray. Oh, yeah, right. See. <laughs> I'm sorry that, like, white... I won't lie to you, every single paint diet I ever do, you will need black and white. Like, it's a necessity. It's very important. I know, sorry, Justin. I want you to park that big mattress right in this little garage. Okay. Let's try that again. It got quiet all of a sudden. Can you hear me? Like no music at all, still. 
like I don't touch my computer and it just decides weird it's weird all righty we've got this grape it literally looks like baby blue to you guys I don't know how to deal with that so we're just gonna go with it and we've got this skinny brush and we've got pure white on our palette nearby, ready to be locked and loaded, okay? And we're gonna have some water on our brush, and we are literally just gonna start pulling. We are just gonna start pulling this. <laughs> Why is it not working for me? We're always going to go left to right or right to left. We're not painting up or down. We're literally painting these water, whatever, ripples, waves. What do you want to say? You can add more water if it's not pulling nicely. You want to have pops of that orange or yellow or whatever color in the background popping through because that just shows the reflection from up above. And I said, keep that pure white beside there because you can jump in every once in a while, put your brush in the pure white and kind of go through those same spots. Yours is a scary death blood lake scene. I love it. <laughs> That's perfect. So see how I'm still pulling left to right? I'm like slow, like always loading my brush with water every once in a while because water helps you paint water what better medium to help get that look of a watery consistency is by literally adding some water to it right And I'm going all the way down. It's okay if we go over where those whales are going to go. Who cares? See, don't forget to go into pure white to bring some lighter spots in there. go in between some of those rocks I don't know I know I probably sound so redundant but like water is your friend your little strokes can get a little bit bigger when you get closer towards you like they can get smaller and like look how I got made this one kind of pretty a lot thicker than the other ones Another trick of showing you becoming closer in space. Your carpet's its own work of art now. Oh my gosh, did you not put anything on your carpet? That stresses me out. Well, it's watercolor, actually. That might come out. And see how they're not, none of them are going up and down. I'm always going left to right, left to right. Important. Get some pure white in there. And even though it's pure white, your brush is a little dirty and the blue is a little, is still wet on there. So it should blend into like different values. How's that? And again, remember, if you want paint completely over to the edge, that's fine. I just, I, I ain't about that life. Personally. And we are going to put a little bit of darker ones in front of our whales just to show kind of some shade. Shade. Shadow is what I meant to say. Um, that is coming after we put them in there. Realistically, we don't have that much more to go. Tay, have you done a Spider-Man into a Spider-Verse piece? I have done Spider-Man, but not... 
Spider-Verse. Like, that's the animated one, right? I'm disappointed. Don't be disappointed. I, uh... I have, like, a watercolor Spider-Man. But it's, like, a real Spider-Man. It's not the animated one. Okay. And remember, water's your friend. You can just go in with pure water and swipe her through a little bit if you want. But again, less is more. Oop. And some of you glitter pals, you could put, ah, we'll put glitter in after actually. We'll wait. We'll paint them first. How's this? Show you close up. See, when you see this clip, like, oh yeah, I took off this auto zoom, so let's just, it can't go full. When you see it close up, you can see that it's not perfect. Like, it's very easy. You can, like, come super close in and think of all these things that might look weird. But remember that no one's going to be looking at your painting that close. It's supposed to be admired from a, at least, <laughs> at least further than this away. Okay. So don't get caught up in little details. They can kill you. <laughs> Literally. I went to pause the video and remembered you're alive. I'll pause. Where are you at? How much, like, are we still on the water? Not still, like, everyone should still be on the water, but... Um, is that where we're at? Definitely an alien demon infested lake. Hey, maybe it should should be. Maybe that was on, you can say it was on purpose. You meant to paint an alien demon infested lake. Maybe you should paint like the Loch Ness monster instead of an orca or two. Maybe. You're not that advanced. <laughs> you know what's the best, you would paint a like basically like a C sideways, a C and a C. And it would look like woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh, okay. Sound effects required. Exactly, Dresden, exactly. You struggle in drawing much less painting. It just takes time. You just gotta do it more, that's all. Anybody can be a good painter or drawer, you just have to do it. That's what I always say. You're figuring out your art style and you remember Spider-Man is the Spider-Verse and now you don't know what to do. <laughs> that's funny. You gotta wing it. All righty. I'm going to draw some clouds. And they're literally exactly the same, basically, as what we were just doing. Just up here instead. The Castle Castelvania series. I don't know what that is. I won't lie to you. I know. You guys, I'm out of the loop. I'm not cool. I watch the same garbage TV over and over again like a psycho. Okay. The clouds, you guys, are basically the same as the water and the same as the trees. We're using the same color we are using before, that grayed out blue with a lot of white in it. And water, like I said, it's our friend. I'm using this little brush. It is almost Orca time. This is the last step. And then it's Orca time. So we can either use water to buff it out a little bit. To keep it nice and opaque. That's always the best word. Trans not opaque, sorry, translucent. 
Blood of Zeus is pretty sweet on Netflix too. Never heard of that either. You guys, look, I'm, I don't know what's cool these days. Okay, uh, clouds, what was I talking about? We are gonna go to the top part of your clouds. And you are gonna kinda bubble, like I'm swirling, like you can see, like it's literally like a swirl. In the direction that you want your clouds to go. And then you're gonna dip your brush in water and you're just gonna kinda like buff it. Wax on, wax off. Tasty Tulip, I see you have taste some orange juice in your presence. <laughs> okay, so Blood of Zeus must be a good show. I will be very real with you guys. I watch garbage TV because I have to watch TV when I paint. I can't listen to music usually because I like dance <laughs> too much. I just like get too into it and I can't like paint. I need to like watch TV. So it has to be something like I, that doesn't matter, like that I don't have to pay attention to. Like if there's subtitles, I can't watch it because I can't like under, if I can't hear or understand it, I can't watch it, right? If it's very like complex, like it needs lots of your attention to like pick up what's going on, I can't watch it because I'm working all the time. So I'm always painting, so I can't watch something new. Because then I'll be like this, watching TV instead of painting. Oh, I just put my elbow in paint. I'm just buffing out clouds out here. The, there's like literally hardly any pigment at all when you do these things. Oops. There's a cloud. Hey guys, next stream we find Tay's hobby. Your job can't be your hobby. <laughs> okay, well, it's funny because it's it kind of is... Um, it, it's sauces just... <laughs> that's not what I was gonna say but that kills me um painting is still my hobby I just I get to like paint my own things like I paint things for my job and then as a hobby I paint what I want <laughs> uh. Yeah, but there's paintings like my cl that I paint for my clients, right? I'm a commission-based artist, so people order paintings from me. They order it specifically, what they want, and then I... Oh, guys, I play Ring It, and I build Lego. That's true. Ice skating... So I play a sport that you play on ice, that you skate on. Um, I snowboard... I'm a pretty good snowboarder. That's true. I just work more than anything, so I forget sometimes. Look at Justin. Okay, my momager has come in and answer them all for me. Pokemon Go, scootering, ringette, other illustrations, just dance. Oh yeah, hey, I'm a just dancer. <laughs> hey Tay, will you marry me? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. That ain't the first proposal I've got on the stream. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Have I ever thought about being a tattoo artist? So I get asked that a lot, Rod. Um, I, it's a very, no, <laughs> like I've thought about it, but I can't because I'm a very like, you see how I paint, like I paint very, I paint by mistakes. Like I make mistakes and I cover up over the top of them and my work is all just like, tweaking mistakes until it becomes whole and that doesn't really work with tattoos and i'm a very shaky shaky hand like a very shaky hand which just doesn't go well with tattoos <laughs> but i get asked a lot to design tattoos oops that was a lot of white and I don't really know how to do, like, tattoos are such a whole other world. Like, drawing on 3D surfaces, like, on a 3D surface to, like, make, like, this. Like, my paintbrush was crooked. The first artist who did my paintbrush did it crooked. And so the artist who did all this underneath stuff to make it look more straight to the eye, she, like, put some other pieces around where it's the most crooked and, like, thickened up some other lines and, like, knew how to, like, align things on a surface that's not 
flat and that's like out of my wheelhouse you guys i don't know how they do that hey tay how about being bad to make us look good i think that'll be fun you kill me <laughs> i did not like my background so i try to fix it and now you hate it oh like what background like what part of the background you might just have to paint some white over some spots and let that dry and come at it again. I love your time lapses, but I wouldn't want that on my skin. Yeah, neither. And I paint that. And that's like me too, like with this, like I didn't want to design it. Like I didn't want to design. It's hard for me to design something that goes on my body. I wanted her to do it. I'm going to retry this one with watercolor on YouTube. Okay, perfect. Sorry, guys. Did I just lead you so astray? <laughs> Let's get some workers in there. This is looking magical. Thanks, Kenzie. Thanks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then what did I see else on here? I saw somebody say something else. Maya Moon doesn't like the orange part. Hey, that is fine. You know what? You should just paint white over top of that. Just go. Whoosh, let it dry and try it again. Or you can like make them like Aurora Borealises. Is that what those, is that what Northern Lights are called? <laughs> This does remind you of the Father's Day painting. It is the same colors and the water. It, yeah. Hey, you're right. It is very like that painting. Okay, you guys, are we ready to paint some orcas? <laughs> hey, <-o. laughs> okay, good. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, let's get some black on our palettes because I ran out of black. Where did I put it? Kenzie sent in her killer whale. Oh my lanta, I can't even imagine what that's gonna be. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna use a little pointed brush. It's the same brush that I was using before. Again, play it by ear. If you're using a smaller canvas, maybe you want a smaller one. But the point is gonna help us today, okay? So we're just gonna get some pure black on our brush and we are gonna make sure that they're, yeah, the old pointy McGee. <laughs> Can't see you kill me. I love it. Um, we are gonna add some water to it. We're not trying to make that chocolate milky consistency we made before. You just want a little bit of water on your brush so that it smoothly goes across the pal canvas, okay? So we're gonna start with the big whale down there. Sorry, just my face just keeps popping in here. Okay. And you're basically just gonna make, where do I wanna put him right here? You're basically just gonna make a line for the length of him. Yeah, exactly like Tasty Tulip is saying, black is dangerous. So you want to make sure that your background is dry. We're waiting for dry here. Dry on dry. No, wet on dry. But since we're using just black for it, it's okay. We're not mixing it with anything. You see with my line, I kind of pulled it up a little bit. Kind of like gave her a little flip at the end. As dry as my dating life, Kenzie. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you quick, Big Pot. Literally go like this. That's a tail. And then go... Look at that. And then draw the letter P. If you drew... Like, this is really messy, obviously. But you see in the little color the pea in and that's a head. Look, that's a little Loch Ness monster, you know? How's that? Okay, but for us orcas here, you guys, it's pretty easy. We're going to come to the back and we are going to bubble this line up a bit. And we're just going to bring it parallel and back down to that little flip that we made. Look at that little bean. Oh my gosh, do we have two people just coupling up in the comments right now? 
a rose has been accepted. <laughs> Justin and Kenzie. Hey, I approve. I approve. Okay, guys, see? That's really a killer whale already. Now let's make that fin out the back. It's kind of just at an angle. Acknowledge that it's closer to the butt than the front. Oops, I probably actually made it too... Eh. Let's just make his body a little bit longer. Okay, we make a line straight up. And bring it on down. It can be a little more pointed at the top. And this is how I met your mother. <laughs> Okay, it looks comical right now, but we're literally gonna color it in. It's gonna without color it in minus the eye hole, and it's gonna be a little orca. Same with this one. Look, this one's a little cutie. Let's make it a little bit behind the other one. Look at that. Looks like a penguin doing some laughs. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it's an eye, eye socket, eyebrow, face, but not an eye hole. That's an eye hole. It's a white eye hole, if you ask me. Look, we can draw that eye hole if you need. Look at that. <laughs> you guys, thanks for the jar. Look, I didn't even say the word of the jar. Just thanks. Thanks for the candy. That's what that reminds me of. Okay, so we've got some jumping little orcas in there. Let's get another one. We're going to come a little bit further away because we're going to paint some that are further back. So let's come a little bit down here. And this one's face is a little bit higher out of the water. Just a little cutie. This basically looks just like a miniature, like poorly drawn dolphin at the moment, but we'll color it in. It'll look okay. Why are all the cutesy animals assholes? Are killer whales assholes? I guess they are. Here's this guy's little orca fin. They eat sharks. Wow. Do they eat humans? Oh, they play with their food. Check Twitter DMs. I've literally only ever gotten two tweets, Twitter DMs in my life. Where is it? And you are the second one. It looks good! Look at that sea monster! It is an alien lake. I love it. I love it! Okay, so, realistically, we could paint, color those in with black, but we are going to add just a touch of blue to our black paint. Oh, da baby, baby. Yo, 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 good to see you back. You're back. hey -o. We're just coloring in some baby orcas here. What are we listening to? Not royalty free music, that's for sure. <laughs> I 
Alan Watts for sure not is for sure copyrighted. Okay. Um, let's just color in these little orcas. What's fun is that this picture that you guys all chose, they're very minimal. Like, we don't need to show much detail to show that these are orcas, which is nice. Justin, you can't hear the music, but some people can. That's weird to me. And I did hear that, I did hear that the Jeopardy that the Jeopardy guy passed away. Alan. I, was call, I was literally was about to call him Alan Thick. Trebek. That's what I was saying. Crazy how much labels are cracking down on music. It actually is pretty nuts that like, so I've been listening to this same royalty free playlist forever the whole time I've been doing this. And just a couple days ago, a bunch of them that were on the list aren't royalty free anymore. So now a bunch of those videos are like flagged. Um, is hip hop out of the question? It's not out of the question. It's just, um, I put this on Instagram or on YouTube. Like I put this recording right onto YouTube. And so if the songs are like royal or like copyrighted, um, it flags it. And like some of them, I can't post a video or sometimes they'll mute it. So then it doesn't really work as a lesson. So that's why we listen to crappy royalty free music. That's why. Okay, how are we feeling about these first little orcas that we drew? The Canadian accents comes out when I say flagged. Flagged? Flagged? <laughs> Did I say it weird? Flagged. <laughs> I'm just Canadian. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. What else are we doing? We are going to add two more whales, okay? But the thing about these whales is they are a little bit further back in space. So if we're following the same rule that we have been where dark is close and lighter is farther away, we're going to take that same black and blue concoction, mostly black, though I don't know why it's got so light. And we are going to paint some... Oops, where's my white? We're going to paint some more orcas just a little bit further in the distance. And if we painted them the same color that we painted these guys, it would all seem like they're in one line and we wouldn't have any depth anymore. So, we're going to start by painting this one's mom. I get told I have an accent all the time, but it's funny. Usually people think I'm American, which always makes me laugh. Just because I talk all over the board. Okay, let's paint one orca in the background. And the best way to show that it is in space a little bit is its horizon line is a little bit further back than these guys is, right? So that's the bottom. About. That's not a boot. About. Oh, for sure there, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, for sure. Beauty. I'm trying to think of what other things I say that are really Canadian. For people who like to play with the water... Out for a rip there. We're just out for a rip there, bud. For people who are comfortable with using the water techniques, um, you can paint these orcas that are in the background with a little bit more water, so they're a little bit more translucent. Or you can add a little bit more white if you want. Garburator, Parkade, Keener. Grab the toboggan and meet me on the hill, eh? <laughs> yeah, those are good. See, it's so funny. All my American friends tell me to watch a letter, Kenny. I've never seen it. Okay, what is a Chesterfield? I don't know. A couch is a Chesterfield? Where's your tooth there, bud? Of course, Tuke is the main one. Me and my girlfriends were in Colombia a couple years ago. And we were just like on this like little island, kind of in like a very touristy part of town. Like there was lots of tourists everywhere. 
and there's lots of toques for sale because it's like gets cold in Colombia. And my girlfriend was like, "Kate, Tay, you stay here. I'm just gonna go grab a toque from that store." And then all of a sudden, this like guy runs up. He's like, "Oh, Canadians!" Because he's Canadian too. So when he heard toques, he came a running. And all of the American friends were like, "What is a toque? Colombia, the country? Yes, the country." Um, my fave is when I ask Americans where the washroom is and they don't get it. <laughs> yeah, washrooms. It's not a restroom. It's a washroom, you weirdos. Okay, so see how this one's a little bit lighter in the background? Now let's do one more whale here. So he's got a big fin and then the rest of him comes in front of this one. Thought it was British Columbia. Hey, that's fair though. You're, you wouldn't be wrong. We usually say BC when we talk about British Columbia. If you want the local lingo. <laughs> you wanna hug me? Because I taught you how to paint the coolest little sea monster ever, or what? <laughs> We've got Cinderella here saying West is best. Hey, we're still West too, so I won't fight you on that. Number four exporter of potassium. <laughs> Okay, you guys. So I know right now it looks weird. Our little orcas look weird. But guess what? First step is... We've got to go back and make input, unless you have some on your thing already. We want to make this color, but just a touch darker. Because remember how now we want to make a little bit of their shadow underneath them. Hey, no worries, Ashlyn. You, it's almost, and not to, the people who either paint it twice, like paint it along with me, or, um, or watch and then paint it later. The second one always works. Like, it's great to see how it goes once or try it out once and then do it again for real that really helps so you'll get the hang of it a little bit before you go okay so i just mixed a little bit of that darker watercolor to go in front we're using a very watercolor like watered down consistency and we're just gonna make this is more watered down acrylic a hundred percent a hundred percent the picture that we're looking at, this is watercolor for sure. The original was watercolor, but I just, we always do acrylic paint nights, so I just didn't change from that. But what we are doing now is just a little bit of this darker color. I know, I'm sorry, Big Pot, that it was such a different job for you. We are just bringing, we're still doing that swipe swipey like we did when we brought the water all the way down. But now we're just going right kind of underneath our whales to show like a shadow, right? It doesn't have to be exact, it's kind of a rough, like, eh, they're around here somewhere. Madge, thanks. Also, hello. I'll draw whatever we're painting tomorrow. I'm sorry, Big Pot, I'm not painting anything tomorrow. Only Thursdays at the moment. Yes, okay, good, okay, good, okay, good. I was like, I'm sorry to let you down, folks. Remember when you're pulling this, uh, I, I do got big plans this weekend. You're right, a baby. Rager in Columbia. Well, actually, I'm going to, I'm actually going to BC, the other Columbia that you're talking about. Oh, no, I'm not. Canmore's in Alberta. I lied. I'm going to the mountains, so I just felt like I was going to BC, but I lied to you. <laughs> uh, wow. Are you saying wow at my geography? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was like, I'm going. 
No, that's Alberta. Okay, gotta check out the YouTube vids, 100%. I know, Kenzie, it's... It's, I'm going for a bachelorette party, but I'm gonna say party very lightly because there's only four of us going, okay? So we're still not breaking any rules. <laughs> we will. We just got a little condo. And we're already in, we're all in the same ringette team, so we already kind of are in a cohort already. Okay, see, I'm just sneaking in some darker colors in there. See how now it looks like there's like a shadow underneath them? Oh, and Wilson, wow, wow, wow. It is close to BC, Cinderella. It is close. Okay, how are those? How's that? We're almost done. I feel like he's a little weird. Let's just. No, I know. We're going to have a party, but I'm just saying that people, right now, it's, like, taboo to say you're having a party. Because a party usually means, like, a bunch of people fraternizing. Okay, and the way that we finish it up is white. We're going to need some more pure white. I know, I saw, our ringette is shut. I know I said that we were in a cohort, but we've already, like, been playing a couple games. But we're shut down, too, now. Well, they can still do, hopefully, their lives, maybe? Do you think? Okay, at least you, we can still partake in a little. Okay, you guys, let's get some pure white out on a brush. I mean, palette. Well, don't cry. Why do you want to cry? PS5s are sold out. There'll be more. There'll also be people selling them. I'm sure a bunch of people bought a bunch. Okay, you guys. White, pure white means highlight time. I'm still using this good old brush. The same little brush we were using before. And we're literally just going to dab, 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 dab. You can add a little bit of water in there. And we're just going to make some like white like i'm dab dab in these little spots on there because you can imagine like water like flowing over them right you can even we can even splatter some of this if you guys want the baby saying we over ps5 see i'm a switch i'm a switch over ps5 for sure or are you can are you putting those in the same boat because i know some people do that Unacceptable to put a Wii and a Switch in the same boat? Is that what you're saying? No, the Switch is better than PD. Oh! <laughs> it's completely to each their own, right? It matters what type of games you like to play. I, I know. Switches... It drives me crazy because how expensive the games are when, like, the games in... PlayStation and Xbox and stuff are like so complex and take so much time and money and people and design and skills and then like Mario Party's been like the same for like 40 years. <laughs> Mario Racing has been literally the same courses and the same people. Cost the same as Call of Duty for some reason. It's like what? It makes no sense. Okay. With your pure white out too you guys can paint in those, what did I call them, eye sockets, but, uh, no, I call them eye holes. You can give your whales some eye holes. I'll bring it close so you, you guys can see. But remember, I'm just using pure white and just, like, dab, dabbing around the edge. To make it fluffy and look like water shooting back. Guys, I kind of feel like we should probably splatter some white, hey? And Big Pond got Insta for me. Just kidding, not only for me. My Instagram is the same as what we're seeing on here. Tay Tay Ski across the board. 
I kind of painted my whales a little higher up than I anticipated, but that's fine. You can bring a couple like pure white swipeys on here too if you want. It looks real? You guys. How is that? You know when you have so much positivity it hurts? I do. I actually get told that often. And now you, you've got it? Guys, the studio is a positive place, okay? Happy things happen here. <laughs> I just need to fix that little guy. True. Kenzie gets lost in here often as well. Time actually disappears in here. It makes no sense. All of a sudden, it's like two in the morning, and we're like, well. You don't know how you feel about yours, like about your painting? Well, let's make you like it. Send me a picture, and let's figure it out. How's that? Those look like little whales, right? It's your therapy space. See, it's funny because mine is like, is my therapy space, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> sometimes it really is, and sometimes it is the bane of my existence. <laughs> Kenzie's is very realistic as per usual. <laughs> I'm just going to put some splatter on here, you guys. Splatter is the same as that water, that chocolate milky consistency, right? You just scoop a bunch of water from your whatchamacallit over here. That's a water dish. And you just flick it. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have splattered. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and just dab away some splatter that you don't want. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we're checking the DMs. Okay, should I bring it to the... Okay, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at Kenzie's again. <laughs> Come on. It's being so slow. Okay, 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 let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, where's my Insta? My setup is poor today. Okay, you guys. Uh, check out all those little baby orcas. Oh my gosh, look at that family. Okay, here, here, here. Let's see. We've got that little family. Can it be bigger? Yeah, let's just... Huh? No, don't... Everyone that we're showing, theirs is acrylic. So, from the beginning, they were given... They, uh... They... It was easier for them from the beginning because they were using the same medium that I did. Okay, wait, let me just put that there. Okay, so there's one. Get this out of here. Perfect. What else do we got here? You guys, here's Kenzie's. <laughs> this is Kenzie's. Killer whale. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 okay beautiful okay who else do we got here oh my gosh it's sideways but wow nice water you did all that white up here and that's nice maybe we should do that great clouds as well 
Great clouds. Okay, I'll, oh, right, you were sending it when your quality, right, that was when the paint quality was struggling. Oh my gosh, look at those little babes. Oh, the whales are cute. Can y'all be bad? <laughs> this is <a> stuff. <laughs> Again, don't feel bad about yours. I'm pretty sure I'm waiting for everybody else, right? That's the start. I think. Oh, I can't see yours. I'll see it on my phone. I can check it on my phone. I can check it on there. That's okay. You don't really like your background. So now that your background's just pure orange, I would think you can like swipe some like yellowy, like whitey yellowy swipes through it. You can make some clouds maybe. But realistically, there's not much difference in your sky there. Where is my answer? I'm in there. Okay. Um, 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 what was I just saying? Oh, yeah, because I couldn't see. Yours was a disappearing message. I have to get this coming. Oh, of course. Oops, you sent them now. I love you guys, the sea monster. Look at it. Oh, yeah, I don't. It's not automatic zoom. I love uh, lock frickin' ness. Exactly. Love it. Um, you feel bad you should be paying for this. Hey, guys. If I wanted you to pay for it, I would charge you for it. But no one's forcing me to do these pay nights for you. I just want to. Okay, we. I missed another one. Here's another cutie we've got in here. Check that one. I like the water in there. I love the drips. And your mountains are moody. I like it. Nice clouds, too. Guys, I'm not good at clouds. You guys nailed the clouds. Look at Kenzie in there just marketing for me. Buy a print as a tip for her. <laughs> My girl. <laughs> My sweet angel. <laughs> you, you guys know that I'm bad at marketing myself. You just Tay Tay see across the board. Etsy. YouTube. Instagram. Not Twitter. Don't think about Twitter. But I know I, uh, here's a house credit for five cuties. Ah, Dresden. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Does anyone have questions while I'm here? Any tips or tricks that I could have helped better? Anything that you don't like that we can change moving forward? Probably just don't teach what you call it, landscapes anymore, Taylor. Because <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> um... Hmm. What else, guys? Is that it? That all? I haven't decided what we're painting next week. Next week is the 19th. Oh my gosh, Dresden's right. Let's get that thumbnail going. How should I do this? You love being in the live, Maya? Okay, see, it's not it's not good that dance was cancelled, but at least there's some positives about it, right? Jump over a cement wall. Free the day. <laughs> Are you saying that I'm supposed to be like free willy? Okay, let's get let's see, let's see, let's see. How should I do this? Let's start with we're gonna go into that camera. Hey, you two, that's fair. Um, you can go at your own pace. You can, like, that's very understandable that your results can be better after you wash. Let me just unzoom that baby. Okay, okay, okay. 
And let's just pull this full screen. JK, JK, JK. One second. One second. <laughs> It's because I don't like it when it's that, like, chop like that. I like it better when it's full screen, like so. My other thumbnail... Oh, not like that, though. Come back, come back, little guy. Um, yeah, you can send me a picture of your wall, of course. Ah, doesn't that just bring us back to old paint nights? This view... Right? Oh, but there's words over my face. Get this out of here. Where are those words? There they are. Okay. But this isn't facing my face. Just, you know, good. Um, Kenzie says I should hold a fish in my mouth. <laughs> Do I just free willy? Um, Big Pot, if you, I know you're new to Instagram now. Um, I post my life daily on Instagram. Daily, every day, on my stories. You'll see what I'm up to. But I do need to make a YouTube video of a day in the life. Yes, I do need to do that. I'm planning on. Pooper Pants Fart, love it. I always love when you make it into the stream. Best username ever. Love the Pixar art on your Insta. Can you do a Pixar paint night soon? We should do a Pixar paint night. I've only done Pixar draw nights, not Pixar paint nights. Um, for now, let's big pot. You can see my studio. Let's see. Oh, let's just go down a little bit, camera. It's a big disaster right now. There's paintings everywhere. Like, there's a huge canvas right there. And you keep it coming. Oh, I can't go all the way around. Just taking you guys on a whirlwind of an adventure there. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. It is actually the master suite of, this, of my boyfriend and I's apartment. He's a sweet angel and lets me take the master suite. And our bedroom's little... And over there. Look at all those skulls. Yeah, I have painted five new skulls. I've painted this cutie hippo. I'll bring it back. Oh, check my dams. Right, my, right, 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 right. You're showing me your wall. It is a huge apartment. It's about 1,420 square feet. It's a very big apartment. We are very spoiled. Oh my gosh! You guys. She want me to show her wall. Look at all those paint nights. Ooh, there's a cool like rainbow peacock in there. Aw, I love that. The turtle, the sunflower, a couple peacocks, the giraffes. Baby Yoda, great stuff. Have I painted my boyfriend? I've painted him once or twice. Once, mainly. I brought it on the stream once for you guys to see. He went to Japan and I painted a picture of him eating noodles with a bunch of his favorite food all around it. <laughs> um, but uh, it would be sus if I didn't. I've painted him things more than painted him. Yeah, like I've painted him like Chappy. Last, I, I drew myself as an alien stealing him once. He's got some good stuff. Um, okay, what was I... You want to see a self-portrait? I've showed that on here a couple times too. I got one. Another thing, another pride and joy of mine. Whoop. Oops. How do I show the whole thing? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? It doesn't even fit full on the screen. My bun's nice and glittery. 
I don't know. You're going to have to fight Justin for it. We said that my momager has to have it in his office. I'm going to paint a self-portrait every birthday. So every January, I'm going to paint a new self-portrait. See how I feel <laughs> every year if it changes. Everyone has a big mess to clean up. Yeah, story of my life, you guys. I just stopped cleaning it. <laughs> um, and do you paint that in front of a mirror? It looks like I did, hey. No. I fully took a photo. It was very hard to take. That was probably harder than the painting, like, to take a picture that I wanted to paint. That was probably harder. But okay, my time. Well, what am I gonna, What's my... What's my thumbnail? And then I have to go do a bunch of laundry. Um, why do I just want to be like... Strap a fin on my... Oh, should I just do like... <laughs> I'm sure I have something in here that could be a fin. Have you thought of going skydiving out your window? <laughs> I'm only on the 16th floor. I don't think I'd have the nicest time to pick up sorry guys now i'm just like gabbing away thanks tasty good to have you back hope y'all enjoyed um i'm just not creative today should i just be like um she gave away her address more than enough for me oh yeah i guess i kind of gave away my floor that's fair if you find it, good on ya. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say though? I don't know what we're painting next week, you guys. You have to defeat me at the door to enter. <laughs> She's the boss, you have to defeat first. Anyway, okay, I'm just gabbing and wasting all my time. Okay, good night, Tay, good night, Kenzie, good night, Justin, if you're still here, good night, Dresden. Oh, good night, everybody. Big Pod, thanks for sticking through your first one, even though it was a little bit more difficult than usual for watercolorers. We'll see you next Thursday. We'll paint something easier. Something you can draw to. I'm glad you had fun. That's all that matters. Good night to Rod. Good night to Mai. I hope you can join again soon. Me too. Me too. I'll throw some different dates in there too every once in a while. But okay, you guys. We will see y'all soon. Okay. See you later. Next Thursday, 8 p.m. Mountain time. Hit me up on Tay Tay Ski across all the boards. Etsy, YouTube, Instagram. Soon to be Patreon. Mm, Twitch at some point. No, just kidding. Why'd I say Twitch? I'm not streaming on Twitch. Um, what else do I have, Tay Tay Ski on? Nothing, just caffeine. See you guys here next time, okay? See ya!